Yes. I kind of want to return back home, get my exceptional kibble. And another pillar. Good. We have a lot of that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay, our character. Okay, the sniper is good. The sniper rifle is good. But come on. Shotgun one shots it. Got a cryo. Cry. Cry. cry Chrysler. Yeah, Chrysler. I think that's how you write the name. I'm not too sure. Ah, yes. Hello, dear viewer. Tell me, do you know what the definition of insanity is? Insanity, quoted from Google definitions, is someone who is seriously mentally ill. Yes, that would describe me very well. But I like that Far Cry 2 character's quote a little more. Here goes. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. You think, breeding, isn't this? Oh, dear viewer, you are mistaken. I have gone mentally insane. Day 65 was the time to channel my insanity. Remember the Alpha Megalodon from the very, very start of this 100 days? It's time to let Gus Frank cook. I said, let him cook. Yes. That day I also wanted to try out my brand new Icy Boy. See, a good R character here said that Cryolophos are perfect for knocking out anything you want. So I trapped this one low level Giga and truly saw what my good German man meant. Oh my! Oh, this guy fast! Wow! Oh my god, look how fast that's going! Bro, this thing is actually insane! Oh, I don't have any food. I... I forgot exceptional kibble. They wake up fast, but not that fa- Oh, for crying out loud. So I simply spent the rest of day 66 knocking out the same gig again. And... Oh, hooray us. Its food stat was already quite low, so it became my friend in no time. Oh yes, that name. Oh, how I love my own irony. I had a lot of fun with this guy. The absolute best team for my playing style. And these concavenators actually look scary though. But it's a rip-off concavenator. It's not the action con Look. There are two. <laughs> Literally had to change its name to AC. After taming that one concavenator rip-off, I headed over to the hotspots of our beaver friends because in episode one of this all we found the 135 Yi Tyrannus. Perfect for the boss fight. And it was near the water stream. Click, chatu, katu, katu, doink. Eating sound effect. The residents who lived in this water stream got to experience up close capitalism. Darn tax evaders, they had it coming. The local penguin population got a little smaller that day. Should have just kept smiling and waving instead of running away. Would have been better for all parties involved. At the end, Mr. Loudman was tamed. Day 68, and I got myself. Finally, after all of this time, the CAA workstation. Carbon. You need carbon and metal. Carbon is crafted from charcoal. Okay. 
Oh my good god. Okay, so a little situation here, guys. So, you know... You know ticks, right? Those annoying little buggers. Um, I have a tick on my... On my... Uh, <clears throat> how's it called? My reproductive systems injector. I had a tick, like... There, I kid you not, like right there, like not not even on the out outside skin, like on the on like the inside thingy, like like it was just okay. I have got to be the first human in the history of all humankind to have experienced that. Darn ticks! I hate those low life spawns of the underworld. Moving on, it's day sixty nine. Nice, I got myself quite the amount of metal, wood, and charcoal to start it off. And I got myself the anvil, which allowed me to craft guns. Oh yes, oh yes. Time to get some of those and live on my dreams of cosplaying your average Arizonian. Let's look at it. Oh, it looks so realistic. Look at this. This looks so unrealistic, but this looks so realistic. Okay, let's see. A okay, cool loading animation. That is more than just uh, six bullets, by the way. Wow. Okay. Let's test this bad boy out. A good rate of fire, by the way. So this thing does... Okay, 1.2k. And this does... But it is a bit more accurate, actually. Let's put some upgrades into the KSG. You discovered an efficient... Wonderful firearms. Let's get that. So ammo type. The NATO. Let's see how big your magazine is. And now let's see your accuracy. There is no coil. There is no recoil. I don't think you understand how strong that is. Oh my god. I am a big fan of these firearms, okay? Big fan. And guess what? The CAA workstation allows me to craft backpacks. <laughs> oh, guess what? The backpacks make ammo less heavy, firearms less heavy, and your average resources less heavy. So essentially, oh my god, the, the, the possibilities. The, the possibilities to make jokes about schools and firearms. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I can already see myself end up in handcuffs. So yeah, anyways, obviously I craft the backpack. On day 72, I found a uh, very deadly enemy and potential future team. Mm, my fans watching, I got another question for you. What do you get when you cross a fire wyvern with a, uh, a otter? A otter. <sighs> okay, so I needed to start preparing and collecting tributes for the boss fight on day 100. Anyways, I started crafting up some medical brews. And I went out to fight wyverns near the trench. I tried... Gus first to kill some, but Gustavo had a very slow attacking speed compar compared to others that I had. So I went home and got icy in my cryopod and tried to f fight some wyverns with it. Just 400 damage! You're joking! You're actually joking! This is a Giga, and it only does 400 damage! It's the last option. Mr. McDingledoo. And to my surprise, this big giant crocodile managed to do the best out of everything. Oh my god, they can't hit me. They can't hit me. Who could have thought that a giant crocodile will be stronger than a Giganotosaur? During all of this, when I finished with the last crystal talon, I investigated the chasm where the artifact was located and got shocked. There's an alpha! There's an alpha! Oh my god! Oh my god, there is an alpha! There actually. I, I thought. I... So I cryopoded up every breeder that we no longer had any use for. 
and headed back to the desert. Tonight, tonight would be a battle of the ages. Where are you? Oh god! Oh good god! I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as Oh, it's Holy fast. <laughs> Go after it! My army! Yes! Come on! 200 damage! Yes! What are you aiming at? What are you aiming at? Oh, I got good damage and come on my guys, you got this. Come on. Come on, we're almost there. Yes! The battle lasted through the entire night. And to think that we must kill four more of these. Yeah, nah. Not of these dinosaurs at least. The car jars and the acros were so pointless to have around. They barely did anything. Nothing. So I cryopotted up the cryodophosaurus. Jeez, it's a, it's a tongue twister. And then back to the Crimson Forest. I found a 140 Gigano. And today was the day to tame her. Oh! Shit! Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! And now there's those ducks! Day 75. Wow. 75. Did I say 75? 75. Only 25 more days for the boss fight. Yikes. The Giga went to take a nap. And soon she was tamed. Once home I started cooking up some eggs. Boiling them all nice in this very very hot weather. Actually, it was such a hot climate disaster that I had to place them both my aircons again to keep myself cool. Rest of the day... I don't know. It really wasn't all that entertaining considering I just sat around waiting for our eggs to hatch. The A76 started with a very important decision. Um, I, I think... I mean, look at the day counter. And the stress. The stress of being like two different species the entire time. I might just want to... Yeah, I'm just... Ah... Oh, and with a heavy heart I have to say and conclude that... I will not continue the... Karchar bloodline. And focus purely on acros. My man can't even destroy a tree. Okay, maybe it was a good choice to stop with these. With breeding these, what? Yes, so I decided to completely abandon the Karchar line to focus all on the Acro line. Oh, I guess this decision just makes Mustang's death even more useless. A worthless sacrifice to the cause. Anyways, while waiting for my Giga X to cook up in the incubator, I found an ASMG in the anvil. And I crowded it along with some bullets. And then I just AFK'd next to the incubator until the eggs were hatched. So yeah, waste of half a day later and we finally got some baby Gigas. I decided to make some use out of this day 77 though. Guess what? I exploded my eardrum some more. The plan was to get a couple of mutations more and finish off the breeding on day 85. Then combine them, then fight the boss. I set off for these guys. We couldn't find any upgrades in the wild in any kind of loot drops. So I thought to myself, couldn't we theoretically upgrade a saddle in the upgrade station and then create a blueprint out of it? Well, that's exactly what happened on day 78. We got an insane saddle blueprint, which also costs just a f load of resources. And we needed 17 of these saddles. But I didn't really want to think of all of that yet. 
So I just watched my dinosaurs commit funny times. Wow. I don't know. Oh yeah, I thought that this episode wouldn't include any kind of reading, but now look where we are. That gets what we did during day 50 and 60. Wow, what a shame. 79, oh baby, great 79. The second HP mutation was hatched up, and all my Giganotos became adults. But yeah, they were drenched in blood, which isn't optimal to say the least. So I spent the remainder of the day in the snow to turn potential dead on. A bacon pig. A piggy that was sleeping. Day 80. Avocado. 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 That pep. The boy. Anyways. Um, I used our upgrader to upgrade a good day on Saddle. Which came out... Nice. Very... Nice. Bo and I used telekinesis to heal the Gigas. I honestly have zero idea how these giant big green beams would heal anything. They look, honestly, like deadly radiation. Uranium beams, basically. We used the food we used earlier to save Hungry the Dust Plato again. I believe its name was Pet Food Dino Kibble. Anyways, we used that to feed our bacon boy as for means to better heal the Gigas. Oh yeah, while trying to get my HP mutation on the male baby, I got a mutation that... No, wait, I won't spoil it. Here's the here's the reaction of the thing. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so lucky. There's no way. Wait. 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 The 33 was what we got on that. On a female. No, 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 stop, stop screaming, please. And now I got a 37. It was 33, that was the mutation, which was number two. And we just got a double. So that's mutation four. <laughs> I've never been this lucky in my life in ARC. Pretty sure that's like a one in a million percentage thing. But hey, we got just that. All the more reasons to press that subscribe. On day 81, my ladies and gentlemen, we headed out with all of our gigas, the army of four to fight the crystal wyverns and chase them out of their home. Is what I would have liked to say. I swear. The past me who played this has such a weird style of doing things. I myself can't even wrap my head around it. So I unpotted my gigas. Here's what I did. I unpotted my gigas, right? Left and started breeding again on day 82. Like, I don't know. But then, finally, I headed out again to fight the wyverns. The strategy I finally came up with was to shoot some crystal wyverns with my sniper rifle and then scream out my squad at the top of my lungs. Oh god! AKA, uh, panic a little bit. Help me! The following day was all spent hunting down wyverns and breathing. On day 84, we got another mutation. Health number 5. And on day 85, day 85 was back at my hunting party. But I managed to locate a giant, a GIANT Blood Alpha Crystal Wiper. But taking down that guy and all the final preparations... Yeah, I'm sorry guys. But you'll have to wait for the next episode to see the final preparations.